Thanks for joining us today. So good to have you come as we gather for a few moments to trust the Lord as we reach out to him in prayer, as we look to his word for encouragement and hope. There's so much life to be found in the scripture. And as we call on the name of the Lord, it's a great day to do that together. Just before I read our scripture verses for the day, I, um, I uh, want to just talk about this old children's story. These, this verse always makes me think about the story of the tortoise and the hare. You remember that story, right? These two animals that somehow end up challenged in a race together. And you would think it should be no contest. The hare, the rabbit, should be able to quickly outrun the, the tortoise. You know, our backyard goes uh, right up against a, a field out here on the other side of our fence. And often we'll have rabbits, little bunnies that show up in our yard. Drives our dog crazy. He gets all excited. Of course, by the time he gets out there, they're long gone. They're so fast. Well, here's the story, of course. The, the, the hare... It challenges the tortoise. They end up in this contest. They start the race. And of course, the rabbit's off like a rocket and, uh, and is headed down the road, but then becomes distracted by the clover that's in the field, by the stream where it can get a drink, maybe by carrots that are at uh, the farmers uh, out, 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 in the, out in the field. Um, he decides, oh, he's so far ahead, he can take a nap. And, and so he has all these little pit stops and uh, he's just distracted from the race. Meanwhile, here comes the tortoise, one foot after the other, just plodding along, only to discover that it's the tortoise who wins in the end. And the moral, of course, the classic moral of that story is that slow and steady wins the race. Well, what makes me think of that story is our scripture, which mentions a race. Now, it's not talking about a physical race. It's about the race of life. It's about the fact that we're on this marathon between now and the end of our days when we stand before the Lord, and we're meant to give it all we've got. But it's not a sprint. We're not meant to just head out like the rabbit, um, super fast, only to lose heart or be distracted along the way. In fact, here's the, the verse, Hebrews chapter 12, and uh, the first couple of verses. And we'll just take them a, a little bit slow here. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. You know, each of us have our own race to run. And we're not in competition with one another. Unlike the, the tortoise and the hare who were competing, we're not in competition. And it's not about who gets there the fastest. It's not about who does the best job. It's just about finishing the race. That we would be steady in our approach to life. Steady in our perseverance. Just run this race with perseverance. That means we don't give up along the way. What helps you not to give up? For me, often it's the encouragement of a family member or a friend. The fact that I know that I'm greatly loved and, and, and that I have their support. This verse here in Hebrews starts off telling us that we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Those names are listed in the previous chapter. In chapter 11, there's this long discussion of all these biblical figures that faced hardship and, and uh, opposition and hard times, and yet they didn't quit. They didn't give up. They kept trusting God. They kept turning to him day after day. And the scripture says that these are folks that were renowned for their faith. And now in chapter 12, it says that they are all watching us that there's a sense in which those in the faith who've come before are now looking to us as we run and they're there to cheer us on to to perhaps whisper in our ear in a metaphorical way that you have what it takes to make it to the end how do we know that we have what it takes well what it takes comes from the spirit of god himself he lives on the inside of us as we put our trust in the Lord and he gives us what we need day by day to make it through. 
It's good to have our eyes fixed on his heart for us, his intentions for us, his goodness. And that's what verse 2 says here. It says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. What's he saying there? He's the author. He's the one that got us started in this journey, and he's the finisher. He's the one that's going to come and make sure that we make it all the way through. Isn't that good news? All of heaven, the Spirit of God himself, is here to help us make it through, regardless of what obstacle we face, whatever trial, whatever tribulation, whatever problem, whatever obstacle, whatever financial difficulty, whatever relational setback, whatever health issue we might be facing in any given moment, we don't have to despair. We can trust him. Our job is just simply, how can I take the next step today? And one day adds to another adds to another until the day that we stand before the Lord, having discovered we have persevered and made it through to our day of triumph in the end. Jesus, it says about him that he endured the cross for the joy set before him. What was that joy? It was you and me. The fact that our sins could be forgiven that we could know God for ourselves. He used that to that, that thought to endure the cross and to overcome. Let him bring you hope today as well. You might feel like a tortoise in life as we deal with the situations around us. That's okay. Just keep taking the next step. With that in mind, let's come to the Lord in prayer. Gracious Father, we thank you for your presence. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you endured on behalf. We look to you today so that we will not lose heart. You who endured so much, Lord, did so with joy, knowing it would be worth it in the end. Lord, as we face the trials and tribulations of our day, Lord, we choose not to be defined by them. Instead, we fix our eyes on you. We put our hope in you, and we thank you for the grace that you give that allows us to run this race with perseverance, a sense of endurance, this this idea that we're not giving up or quitting or despairing or, or losing heart. You're seeing us through. Lord, let there be an infusion of strength to every person that hears my voice today as your word comes alive in in them. Lord, we trust your word. We believe it, and we thank you that you are causing us to persevere by your spirit. Thanks for being with us today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. You're going to make it. There's a great cloud of witnesses calling us all forward. And with our hope and faith in Christ, we're going to see it all the way through. God bless you today. Thanks for joining us. We try to show you these videos here if you're part of our Friendship Village family. Every day, Monday through Friday, 8 in the morning, 4.30 in the afternoon, and again at 8 o'clock at night. Part of last week, a few days this week, I found out from some of you that the 8 o'clock presentation didn't show. When that happens, that's simply because there's been some kind of computer glitch, and we're doing our best to fix that. We work through a third party to make sure that these videos get inserted at the right time and place, and sometimes it doesn't always work. Most of the time it does. We've had a little bit of trouble this week. If you ever miss one of these videos, you can always also find them on the inter- on, let's try it again. On the internet. Simply go to YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot com. In the search bar, simply type Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell. And you'll find all of our videos that are now listed, including the most recent ones. You can always be up to date. God bless you today. Thanks for being with us. Let's keep running this race one step at a time. God bless you. We'll see you next time.